the Mannings have signed to do Monday Night Football. Eli and Peyton are doing Monday Night Football on ESPN2. They're going to do an alternate broadcast. And I think this is an absolute genius idea. They are doing 10 games a season for the next three years. They are already signed up for the first three games of the season. I don't know what they... I don't know what exactly the schedule is going to be. Like, are they just going to do the first 10 weeks? Are they going to, like, space it out? But they're going to have, you know, current players, former players, comedians, entertainers, whatever, jump in with them. They're going to do it from a remote location. Basically, I think they just get to sit at home and hang out and watch the game and just talk about it. And these two guys are really entertaining. Like, they're really funny. It's it, They are the same level that that Tom Brady is, where they can kind of make fun of themselves. They don't take anything too seriously. I enjoy listening to them. I think this is a fantastic idea. Like, ESPN wanted Peyton in the booth. I think Peyton didn't want to be involved in the old-school broadcast of it. I I think this is genius. What uh, what do you think about it? I'm going to hate it. <laughs> I do, here's the reason why. I, I hate all these alternative ways of watching a game. I want to watch a football game. I want to turn it on and I want to watch the football game. And I want Peyton Manning to call my game. I want Eli Manning to call my game. I don't want them hanging out with their friends talking about the game. I want to call the game. Yeah, yeah. I can. uh, The traditional outlet seems like the right way to go. Even when there are all these other alternate ways to watch games, the coach's film room. All that kind I of hate stuff. That. I've like, never watched one ever and enjoyed it. Well, here's ever. here's the thing. I have gone back and watched it and enjoyed it. I but I do that for like national championships, for playoff games, stuff like that. But I always watch the traditional broadcast for the actual game. And maybe you're right. Like maybe maybe this won't work. Like I, it, not that you said it didn't or it wouldn't work, but you know I. I will say this. No, there it's are gonna some. Work. It's going to work. They're super likable, and it's yeah. a load of people are going to tune in. It's going to work. I'm not going to watch it as much as I love these guys because I want to call the. I want to watch the game. I don't want to watch somebody else watch the game. I don't want a camera on them while we're calling the game. I want Jim Nance and Tony Romo. That's what I want. I want to hear you. Tell me what you're seeing as I'm watching the game. If they're doing this from their house and they're having a bunch of friends over, you're going to have half the screen be on the football game and the other half the screen being on them. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't want that. I hate that. I love these two guys. I, I, I watch everything they do. I think they are amazing entertainers. They're funny. They're likable. I love everything about them. I'm, I'm going to hate this. I'm not going to watch. And it really bothers me because I think if you got them in a booth, they would be unbelievable. Yeah, I, I do tend to agree with that. Um, now, Monday Night Football, you know, has Steve Levy, Lewis Riddick, and Brian Greasy. And I will say over the last however many years, uh, I, I don't know. Last year was their first year. And then before that, it was uh, Tess and, uh, and Booger and whoever else. Like, I I don't always listen with the sound on. I, like, I'll have the game on, but I'm not knee-deep in those Monday Night Football games because the matchups have been kind of it. Now, this year's schedule looks better. Um, but this, like, I would actually I would actually turn it on and listen to it. So, there is that. But it, I, think, I think anything that you're giving people a, a different option to where it's not boring, even in a blowout game, this could be something that could be entertaining. Uh, I think it does help grow the uh, the game, and I think it's good for ESPN to get you know Peyton involved in this and Eli, but mostly Peyton. You want Peyton to do the booth? Uh, get him doing this first. You know, sign him up. Like they're already working with his Omaha Productions and whatnot. Like, do whatever you got to do to keep him in your company, and that way he's not going somewhere else. So that's the way I look at that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.